In this video I'm going to show the strain calculation that goes along with uh, chapter 7 of this book. So on this sheet I've got the subjects of this YouTube video. First I'm going to show the strain plot and then I'm going to check the Poisson's effect. So I'm going to switch over to SolidWorks. I'm going to create a new file with a template that I've already created in chapter 1. So if you want to see how you do that you can uh, chapter check chapter 1 of this book and the video that goes along with it. And I've done already some pre-calculations of the expected strain. So I'm going to use a force of a thousand newton. The area is 531 square millimeter. I can just check that. Select the area and choose tools, uh, section properties. You see here the the value of the surface. And I'm going to create a new simulation study. Uh, create a fixture over here on this side because the material was already present in my template the simulation has uh, taken the material over you see the the green uh, check mark over here at the material uh, I'm gonna create a, a force on this side of a thousand Newton in the reverse direction so you can see it in the arrows it's a, a force pointing in the right direction and now I'm gonna run this simulation and check the strain. So first I get three plots as you can see also in the first video that goes along with this book you can uh, set up the default plots you get here and I'm gonna define a not a stress plot but a strain plot over here and I'm gonna have a look at the strain in the X direction like that and you see the value here it's about uh, 8.8 .8 E minus 6, it's a very small number. You can see it here in the calculation as well. So you have the, the force that I use, the area that I use. This is the stress, it's the force divided by the area. Then this is the formula that you can use to calculate stress, but we already know the stress. So if you rewrite that formula to strain, uh, divide the stress by the mode of elasticity, you can see the 2.1 E5. It's the value you can see here in the material as well. So I'm going to have a look at the material. And I see here E11. So if I change it here to newton per square millimeter, because I'm calculating everything in millimeter in this case, you see uh, 2.1 E5. So a 2 with uh, 5 numbers behind it. Uh, 2.1 E5 is this number that you see over here. So that I've used to calculate the, the the strain, divide the stress by this number of the uh, mode of elasticity, and you already see you will get a very small number. It corresponds corresponds very closely to the value that I see here in the green area. And if I want to have a look a little bit closer, I can then again probe the plot. So uh, show the plot and then probe it like that. And you see this value corresponds very closely to the value that I've calculated here with Excel, just a small hand calculation. And then if you want to have a look at the, the uh, contraction of the material in the other direction due to the Poisson's effect, I can create a, another strain plot in as well the Y and Z direction. So they'll both have the same value in this case. You can see if I rotate a little, this is the coordinate system that goes along with this part. So in the Y and Z direction, I will we'll have the same strain, which will be smaller than this number over here. Now it's 8.8 .8 E6, a positive strain, because the material elongates. I will get a negative strain in the other direction of a smaller number than this. So let's have a look. You see, uh, it's negative number, and it's also smaller than the previous value. It corresponds cor uh, directly to the material effect let me see here I have it you see the Poisson's ratio so it will be 0 0.28 times the the strain in the X direction will be the strain in as well the Y direction as the Z direction so if I calculate uh, this value times 0 0.28 I get 2.51 uh, e minus 6 and that will be the absolute value of the strain that I have here you, you see I can then again probe it so probe 
to see if this value corresponds as well. Minus 2.5 E minus 6, and you see it corresponds very closely to the number that I've calculated here with Excel. So that was a, a look at the strain and the Poisson's effect in SolidWorks simulation. Thanks for watching.